Hey guys, how's it going? Eric here from uh, TriTech Channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We've got a uh, 2014 MR6 we're going to be doing a cool flush on. Bought some of that uh, nice blue engine ice that we're going to try out for the first time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you step by step. We're going to remove the fairings, we're going to drain the lines and the system, and we're going to top the system up and show you how to check for the levels. Uh, hopefully this video is going to help you out. If it does, please take that like button down below and be great. Feel free to subscribe. Any comments help, good or bad. And let's go get it done. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to take our 4 millimeter Allen key. You're going to see there's a small screw in the back here. Just like this guy. Lay that down there. I'm going to take this guy right here off. Now I love having the T-handles, but for some of these it's actually nice just to have the, uh, the L-type Allen keys. Next, we're going to move to this guy right here. We're gonna move up top of here. It's gonna be behind this plastic here. There's gonna be a black little clip. Let's grab a flathead screwdriver. There's the clip right there. From here, you'll see another bolt just up here. Again, just behind the plastic. If you look right near the front here, you're going to see another bolt. You're going to have to turn the tire. And there you go. Underneath here, you're going to have three clips to undo. So just below here, you're going to see that one tab there. You're going to push the center in. That's going to pop the clip out. You're also going to see on this one, there's two clips here. One's holding the radiator. Uh, it's actually attached to that radiator there. You're going to clip uh, that one off as well as the one just above it. There's going to be another one there. Uh, same kind of tab, and you're just going to pull those right out. On the fairing, the way these work is especially if you have a newer bike, there's clips up here, the way it slides into place. So what you have to do is you actually grab the fairing, you're going to pull it forward, <laughs> so I actually forgot one. There's also this little clip right here, okay so with these fairings, you gotta slide them forward and then out. Take your fairing, slide it forward, and it's gonna come right off. You're then gonna have your harness for your signal lights, and that's just a simple pull up on the tab. And unplug. There you go, fairing's off. Because we're going to be doing the coolant, and I need to be able to get to this reservoir right here, as well as to the fill cap, I'm going to have to actually remove a bit more fairing on this side. So again, it's all four millimeter.
take this top one off. Just, just two bolts. This cover is just going to be a lift. It's just being held on. by clips like this. So just make sure you're careful, you just essentially wiggle them out and then break them free. If you've never taken them off before, they might be a little bit stiff, but just make sure you're careful. This guy, just behind, you're gonna have to take off the wiring harness. Just undo the clip. There you go. Piece is off. We're gonna take our pan, we're gonna place it right down here. We've got our drain plug for the coolant, which is actually gonna be located right here. It's this guy, that's our drain plug. We're also going to undo this line here to allow us to drain out anything in this line. We're then gonna move up to the reservoir. And we're gonna unscrew these two bolts and we're gonna take this completely off. And that way we can jump that out and we can clean it up. First things first, let's get this reservoir taken out. So, grab your sockets. going to be a 10 millimeter. And you're gonna pull your reservoir off. Simple as that. Dump out my reservoir. So once you have your reservoir off, what you're going to want to do is take some distilled water, you're going to fill it up, kind of give it a quick shake and then you can pour it out. Uh, some people uh, recommend using distilled water with a bit of uh, vinegar in there um, just to help with kind of the cleaning factor. Um, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I don't personally do it myself, uh, I'm fine with just using uh, water. Uh, also, uh, what some people will do is they will fill this up with uh, vinegar and water solution, run it through the entire, run it through the system after they've drained it. They'll fill it up with the water and vinegar, run the bike to operating temperature uh, to basically give your entire system a really good clean. I change my fluid pretty regularly, so I don't usually do that, which in this case I won't be. Um, but again, uh, some people uh, do believe doing that, so kind of take it at your own discretion. Now that I've cleaned the reservoir off, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna open up my drain line. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up my drain line, which is actually going to be an eight millimeter. Now, as you can see, not a lot of fluid comes out because we need to open up the radiator cap. Once that cap's off, this fluid's gonna come out faster. So just be aware. As that's draining, you can actually start accessing this line right here. It's 
line's gonna be pretty sticky. There will be some residual fluid in this line still. And we obviously want to get as much of this coolant out as possible. Now the other one that we can take off is there's a line just behind here. It's the one just behind it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our six millimeter socket. And you just slide that down as well. And you'll see there's a lot of coolant still there that comes out of this hose. All right. So, now that that's done, Basically just putting it back together, filling the system. There is still going to be a bit of residual fluid in the system itself. And this is where some people are saying uh, distilled water through um, distilled water with vinegar or just distilled water. Bring the bike up to operating temperature and let it clear the system out. Like I said, I'm normally keeping pretty clean fluid in here. I'm not too, too concerned about the little bit of amounts that are actually inside the engine right now. Um, the main portions were essentially in the radiator through these lines and just sitting here. Uh, so now that that's done, I'm gonna start putting the lines back on. that's on these again it's up to you I would just inspect it see how it's looking if it's not too crushed or anything like that just make sure it's nice and cleaned before you're putting it back in go back to your 8 mil just snug it up so now what we're gonna do I'm gonna reinstall my reservoir. So I just put my uh, blue filter in there. I'm gonna take my uh, jug of engine ice. I'm gonna start filling up my reservoir. Right into the full mark. Take that out. Put this in the radiator. Start filling it up. <laughs> just, just made a mess. That's all right. It's not the end of the world. Bit of coolant never hurt anyone. I actually think that's not true. I think coolant's actually killed multiple people. So once it's filled up, cap and go back on. Right like that. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to start the bike up. 
and make sure everything's good for our levels. All right guys, so that's basically it for the coolant. I brought it up to operating temperature, and then after that, I waited for the bike to cool down, pop the reservoir cover, um, sorry, the reservoir cap off, and check my level. Uh, everything was all good to go, didn't even need any more top-ups. I did end up using only just the one jug of engine ice, um, so that all went well. So hopefully this uh, video was able to help you guys. And uh, yeah, if you have any uh, questions, comments, just uh, leave it there in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the video, that'd be great. And I'm going to keep carrying on to uh, get that oil change. Alright guys, have a good one.